Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Factorio tutorial. My name is Root Negative and today I'm joined by a very, very special guest. Uh, we're in the presence of genius. Hello Madzuri, how are you today? Doing good, <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> Sorry to uh, inflate the size of your head, but uh, today we're going to be talking about a, an advanced loader. Now this, this was the old version of the loader. Now what this did, right, was it kept all of the boxes with the same amount of uh, resources in them. You can see they've all got one right now. And this this was done through Splitter Tricks, Zuri. You uh, you originally designed this this uh, this monstrosity. <laughs> and uh, you know, just by recirculating the belt around, you can make sure that each uh, each thing has an even amount in it. So that was all well and good, but um, Mad Zuri has designed a uh, a loader. Now I. I'd said, right, in be in the beginner's guide, I said, look, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. It's a, bit, a little bit complicated. We I'm not going to talk about it too much. And then it kind of blew up and everyone was asking about it. So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you, firstly, how to make it. And then secondly, uh, talk a little bit about um, what applications there are for it. So uh, we've showed off the uh, the old school, Zuri. Uh, shall, we, uh, shall we build the new school? Certainly. Right, let's uh, disconnect this. I will pick all of these bad boys up. Because the new school um, takes advantage of a combinator, I think it's a little bit more... a um, little bit more robust. Like, it's got a little bit more room for... Um, shall we say, user error? <laughs> and that's, that's the major thing that um, can potentially get things uh, muddled up. With uh, with these kinds of designs, is how robust is it, and how much um, room is there for error? All right, so it it's based upon a simple concept of when you multiply or divide something by minus one, okay, in the circuit network, it cancels itself out. All right, so if you have an input that is multiplied by a negative one, hold on. <laughs> you can um, you can output that um, to a wire, and then you can use that to cancel out a signal. So what we're going to do is let's get building here, Zuri. And this can we just can be go expanded to like any count of chests? Too, I've, I've been asked that or I've seen the question, like, can I make this for longer trains? And the answer is yes, absolutely. You can make it as many chests as you want. And that's that's the beauty of the combinator. With the old design, that was set to a certain that was set to two carriages. Am I right? Yes, and you'd have to, you know, paste down a whole bunch of them for each. So this this is set to any number, any number of uh, of uh, boxes basically, because it's all worked off the boxes. Now here's the important parts, right? So what we do is we link all the boxes together with green wire, okay? This is very important. You link the boxes together with green wire and you link the inserters together with green wire. Now there was this great uh, picture that popped up on the subreddit not 30 minutes ago. And uh, I'm actually gonna show you that now here on the screen. Uh, basically, you can see that the green wire connects the boxes and it goes to the input of the combinator. Then the green wire from all of the uh, from the output of the combinator rather comes back to the green inserters and then each inserter is linked to its box using a red wire. Let's come back to the game. Now we've got this set up already. Uh, we need a combinator. So this On it. will, uh, I'll just move this out a little bit Zuri so we can show what's happening here. So you can see here, this is the input side. This is the output side. This is probably the, the trickiest part to this build. And it's probably the part that you're most likely to uh, to mess up. Make sure you get it to the right side. So that's the input. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to link the output back to the inserters, okay? So we've got green wire in and then green wire out. There's no connection of green wire between the two. Now this, uh, they each connect. Now the, uh, the network condition here, sorry, hold on. Let me go back a step. The combinator, what we're going to put on the combinator is a signal of iron plate divided by minus one, Zuri, is that right? Uh, divided by the number of chests. Okay, divided by the number of chests. Now we've got four chests here. Now what this does 
is it takes the average over the number of chests and then it gives you the negative of that. Yes, you end up with the negative average and the red wire then adds the contents of the box to the signal that the inserter sees. Exactly. And we have the inserter set to negative or uh, less than one so that if the contents of the box is less than or equal to the average, the inserter can operate. Exactly. So now what this is doing is it's working out, okay, well, the average right now is one. Hold on. This hasn't, why is this not working out? set the output to uh, cover plate. Iron plate, you mean? Yeah, that. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to slow this up and use one inserter only because that way we'll see this start to work. Right. Now you can see what the out the input signal is. It's 100. So, and then it's outputting minus whatever it is. So that what happens is that signal comes along here and then it gets added inside of this uh, inserter itself. So right now there's, say, 32 in the box. You know, we've got a, a minus signal here. And when that uh, that signal is less than one, that gives the inserter the instruction to work. Basically, if you don't understand it, just think it's voodoo magic and uh, set it up like we've done it. And you can expand this out as far as you want. Zuri, anything to add? Yes, one additional thing. If you have, for some reason, a stack bonus, let's say they add the heavy inserter from the Friday Facts from earlier, mm. you want the less than to be equal to the max stack it can move. This also works from item to item. Like if you want to, for some reason, unload a cargo wagon into boxes evenly, you can use the same design and have it less than five if you have max stack bonus. Instead yeah, right. of less than one. Brilliant. So you can work, it's basically working on the amount of items that it can move at one particular time. Yes. You want the max stack number on yep. the inserter yep. and you want the number of boxes here the number of boxes here in yep. the combinator brilliant all right guys have fun with it this is some of the power of inserters and combinators uh there's lots of genius things you can do with it uh more lights it needs more lights doesn't it zuri yes, uh, thank it you does. for joining me buddy uh your sultry tones are always good to uh, have on the channel it's a pleasure being here. <laughs> you just can't. You don't even know what to say at this stage, do you? <laughs> oh, boy. Look, it's all even. This is the important part. See? Look, it's got all even numbers. Oh, before I go, why would you want even numbers in boxes? Basically, it's to control when you're, um, when you're unloading it to somewhere else. This is a, a train loader, remember? So by having all of these boxes equal, we can ensure that we've got the maximum throughput heading in this direction because all the inserters will be working at the maximum amount that it can. If we don't have something like this, what's gonna happen is the first box is gonna be full and then the next three boxes are gonna be empty, which means that we're gonna have, you know, it's just gonna be crap. But this way, we can ensure that uh, the load is spread out over the number of boxes and therefore it's spread out over the number of inserters that are taking the things out of the boxes. I think that that pretty much covers it. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.